This is a really quick tutorial on my Palo Alto uh, course. I'm going to do a lot of uh, short tutorials based on the fact that nine times out of ten you don't really want to be sitting through somebody's huge diatribe about how to do something. Uh, you're just basically looking to solve a problem quickly. So I'm going to start off nice and easy with DACP. Um, I've got my PA220 here and uh, as a use case, I have uh, a uh, I have a problem whereby the Sky Q box is on DHCP. I created a rule based on the fact that it had a, <coughs> a certain IP, um, allowing everything to go through uh, to the outside to the internet because um, the applications it uses the Paolo just didn't like, and I was just tired of the the misses having to go at me every five minutes. Uh, power got tripped out, it's got a new DHCP address, everything stopped working, so I'm getting grief again. So, we'll go through the nuances of creating DHCP, it's really quick, it's only going to be a really, really, really quick thing, this, so, here we have the DHCP server tab, it's on the network DHCP, we can see this is how we configure it. The interface that it's going to be on, so this is the interface that your network is facing, it's going to use as the gateway. It's enabled, uh, ping IP when allocating new IP. Um, so one of the problems of having certain devices on static IPs without any forward planning is that occasionally you'll get a conflict. So if you ping the IP when allocating new IP, it's essentially checking to see whether it's it's already configured or not. Uh, in addition to this, I have always put in a reserve, although in this case this, the eagle-eyed amongst you will realise that I've done that wrong because it should actually be 11, so I should start from 11 to 200 to give me my first 10 IP addresses, but we're not going to get into that right now. And then we have the reserved address, and that's the road I'm going to go down for the aforementioned skybox. Okay, so. The issue I have is that it's changed IP. It was originally on 67. It's now on 59. So I can just edit the object and that will automatically update the object in the rule. Go back to my DHCP server. Now, we can come along here to IP pools, view allocation. And we can see in here that 59 has completely disappeared. Um, but what I do know is it's disappeared because the skybox is switched off. So I know from previous investigations that the MAC address of it is uh, 2047ED863EF2. So I am going to come back here going to go to my reserved address, so 192.68.0.59.20.47.ed.863.f2. spacing in there. Okay, so now I know that that will go with that. Okay, click OK. All is well, and now we can see that 59 is reserved for that MAC address. In our policies, we can see the sky queue exception, which is just allowing it to go from inside to outside, so it can't get to anything sort of nefarious. Um, it's all being logged and it can go on any application and any service because it just it does not like having anything um, having anything evaluated let's say and it's all fairly I mean it's all fairly um, benign anyway so just to give you a quick view here we have this is what's going to change so change that the IP address in there, IP and netmask you can see, 
the skybox, IP number 67, it's been changed to 59 according to our key, so it's modified. We've added in the IP pool there, probe IP reserved, and that and the MAC address there, which wasn't there previously, and nothing has been deleted. Okay, click commit. I would have put a comment in, but I click commit before I remembered to do that. And that's it. So now my skybox will work, my missus will leave me alone, and if you didn't know how to do DHCP on a Palo Alto, um, you now know. Okay.